Hey guys, how are you? Steph here. I got a question from somebody. Let me read it. Do you think the Flutter web framework is a good idea to use to create my next web app? I know it's good for mobile. However, I am curious about the web side of things when it comes to Flutter. Thank you in advance. Ah, interesting question. So Flutter is a framework that Google put out. It's a cross-platform framework put out by Google initially, as far as I understand, for mobile development. So basically, you write your Flutter code. I think it is with Dart. Let me just reference this to be sure. Yes, use the Dart programming language. And using Dart, you'll be able to create web um, mobile apps, Android and iOS, with one code base. That's the big advantage. One code base supports across platforms. Now, Flutter now allows you to create web apps. It may have allowed you from the inception, I forget now. But so you can create your Flutter app, it will work on Mac OS, no, excuse me, it will work on iOS, it will work on Android, it will work on the web browser. And apparently, um, they are, Google is, as of 2022, I'm recording this in July. If they haven't already, apparently they're bringing it over so it will work on Windows and Mac OS natively. That's pretty cool because you write once and then this application will work on all kinds of different platforms, all the major ones. This is nothing new in terms of um, a nerd's dream. The nerd dream of Java was write once, run everywhere. So that was the Java promise. It didn't work so well. It didn't work so well. I've used it in the past. Uh, you know, I remember we used to have the, the, the original ga Java GUI library, it was AWT, that's like that one nowhere. And then we had something called um, applets. Uh, that was for browser apps. Anyway, I'll stop. So this idea of cross-platform, write once, run everywhere, is really one of the holy grails of software development. So apparently Flutter does a pretty good job of it in terms of mobile devices, Android and iOS devices. And apparently now you can do web with it. I can see I, I can see how that would be pretty pretty easily done or pretty pretty achievable rather. And they're going for again Mac OS and Windows. So he's asked me, should I build it in Flutter? Well, it depends on what your end goal is with your application. If you're looking to build an app that needs to be cross-platform, then yes, I would definitely look at either uh, Flutter or maybe React Native depending on the needs of your project. Every framework and library that you work with out there, every language, every technology really has its pros and cons. And you have to figure out whether or not Flutter will make sense given the needs of your particular project. For you, it might be fantastic. For somebody else, it may not be so good. I don't know. Uh, that's number one. So you have to see whether or not uh, the first question I'll ask myself, do I need to create a cross-platform web app initially? Do I need to have an app that will work on iOS and Android and in the web browser right off the bat? You know, remember, responsive websites, uh, they uh, can handle most user needs in terms of your web apps, right? Like Studio Web, my SaaS, we have a responsive implementation, so we don't haven't never bothered to create a mobile application for it. Would the mobile application be slightly better? Perhaps, but it wasn't really worth it. And sometimes using native web technologies, PWA, excuse me, progressive web apps, PDA, PWAs might be a, um, a better solution for you, which is just using HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript. That will work. Um, I remember reading an article where Starbucks said that when they moved from native mobile, a native mobile app, what they had, uh, and they just went to PWA, progressive web app, which is using, just using web tech, their uh, usage went up 50%. One thing that I have to mention is that, I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm not keen on installing everybody's native app on my phone. I much rather most of the time use their web app because I'm not installing anything. So I think a lot of people um, have that mindset and the success of Starbucks PWA would suggest that. Anyway, when it comes to Flutter, yes, you, you know, don't learn something just for the sake of learning it unless, unless you have a personal interest that's burning 
and B, uh, you may have a project or a job at hand that requires or may require that technology. So many technologies out there are what I would categorize, categorize as need to nerd technologies, meaning you learn them when you need to use them. So for your particular web app, do you need it to be cross-platform? Do you need native-like capability? Then, then I would look at Flutter, but I also compare it to React. Uh, in terms of learning Flutter for job purposes, first thing you do is you look at the job opportunities for Flutter. How many people are actually using it? I'm reading this article. I just read this article just so that um, I had you know up to date uh, reference. So uh, Flutter was created in 2018. I liked it when I looked at it in 2018. I thought it was a pretty good tech. So apparently, since then, 375,000 applications are available in the market built on Flutter. 375,000 applications were built with Flutter. Uh, why? Because it's fast, productive, and flexible. This is true. It's easy to onboard. It's easy to learn. It uses the Dart programming language. From what I recall back when I looked at Flutter, I found that the, 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 the implementation, I found the Flutter technology to be uh, well-designed easy to get work with. Remember, all these technologies, they're all there to save us time in the end, for the most part. So that's a cru crucial thing. So would I jump into Flutter right away? No, again, it depends on your project, depends on job opportunities. Again, don't jump into technologies unless there's a need for it. The only thing you really need to learn is the foundations, the fundamentals. Because once you have those, those fundamentals, the key fundamentals of development, then everything else becomes pretty easy. So I teach the web stack plus Python, and so the fundamentals in my world, of course, it's universal across all languages, is fundamentals of programming, best coding practices, refactoring, uh, then you get into design patterns, understanding the web and the internet, the, requ the request response model, how servers work, all this kind of stuff. When it makes sense to go client side, when it makes sense to go server side, which you're, which you're coding and the logic, how to structure and architect apps, how to run projects, how to manage people and clients. You know, so all these things we're talking about, a small, only a small part of it is actually coding. <laughs> it's all related to coding, but it's not just about learning the language. So yeah, just because you saw this video, another video to tell you how great Flutter is, maybe dabble with it, maybe do Hello World, but don't invest a lot of time unless you actually see a real world need for it. All right, I hope that helps. I'm Steph, Uncle Steph, some people call me. Check out my mentoring bootcamp. And uh, if you wanna learn how to code, you wanna learn how to get a job as a developer, you wanna become a freelancer, or even start a code-based business, perhaps you're gonna build a SaaS. I'll be able to help you out with that. Check it out.